Let's look at how we turn a decimal into a common fraction or a common fraction into a decimal. So let's look at turning 0, 0,75 into a common fraction. Um, if I see it in my place value table, it's very easy for me to see that that is 75 over 100. And remember, we always like to write our common fractions in simplest form. So I look to see what can I divide into numerator and denominator. And I can see here I can divide 25 into both of them. And so I will get that 0, 0,75 is the same as 3 over 4. If I look at 0, 0,023, if I put it into my place value table, I see that I get as far as the thousandths. And so that tells me that what I'm dealing with is 23 over 1,000. And this one can't be simplified. Last quick example, if I look at 2, 6, that 2 is in the ones, and then I've got 6 tenths, so it's 2 and 6 tenths. And if I simplify 6 tenths, divide top and bottom by 2, I get 2 and 3 fifths. Going the other way is easy, especially if you've got 10, 100, or 1,000 in the denominator. So, for example, 49 over 100, you know you're going to the hundredths, so you've got 9 hundredths, and you've got 4 tenths, and so it's 0, 0,49. Now, what if instead we had, say, for example, 29 over 1,000? Now, in this case, we know we're dealing with thousandths. So that 9 must go into the thousandths place. Two th 20 thousandths is the same as 2 hundredths. And so we must put a 0 in there just so that our 2 and our 9 end up in the right places. So this is 0, 0,029. If we have something like a half, the problem here is we don't have 10, 100 or 1,000 in the denominator, but that is very simple to sort out because we know equivalent fractions. So we can multiply top and bottom by 5, and we get that that is 5 tenths, and that is very easy. It's 0, 0,5. Now what if we had something like 23 over 20? You should recognize this as an improper fraction, and the easiest way to deal with these is to first turn them into a mixed number. So 23 over 20, 20 into 23 goes once, remainder 3, so it's 1 and 3 twentieths. The 1 is the whole number part, so we can put that in, and so all we left to do is turn 3 twentieths into a decimal. So we need to either get it as an equivalent fraction with 10, 100, or 1,000 at the bottom. 100 is going to be what we go for here because 20 multiplied by 5 gets me to 100, and so I'm going to get 15 over 100. And so I'm going to put those in, and I get that this is 1, 1, 5. The last thing we're going to talk about quickly is uh, a fraction like 2 sevenths. That's not easy to find an equivalent fraction with 10, 100, or 1,000 in the denominator. So how would we turn that into a decimal? Well, we're going to remember that the fraction line means division. So this means 2 divided by 7. And we would go and divide 7 into 2 to get the decimal fraction form. And at high school, the way we do that is we're actually going to take out our calculator and perform the division 2 divided by 7.